All right, all right, all right, all right. So I, I have, I have back with new review, and this time I will be reviewing um another Star Wars figure, an actual figure of the another Grand Union I'm adding to my collection, and this time this will be a uh, from the Black Series, of course, um from the Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order video game, as I said on the front sticker of the package. Uh, um, fallen no, the Black Series Gaming Grades, Gaming Grades, but it's uh, from Fallen Order. Fallen Order is uh, apparently a very good game. I haven't played yet. We have a uh, sadly my camera stand don't have uh, clearly enough of height, height, height to show perfectly everything. The size I can push it away, but it doesn't help much. Uh, basically, our uh, info, which you can find on every package. Number three, number three from a great gaming greats and uh, phone to the order series. So it's number three, and let's do crack open and check the figure itself. So we have a flame trooper. For a flame trooper, you would accept expect. So no, except, expect probably more different type cars than white ones, but I know it is how it is. It is how it is. Should I open from silently? I don't know. I still kind of green and such. Ouch! Openings. I got a little bit of the cardboard under my nail. That's not very pleasant. And I really don't want to break the package. Package itself looks nice because it has a side box out like this. You can line up them on the shelf, and those will make your personal space look a little bit more personalized. I think I think I take it away and try to open from the top of the box. Yeah, from the top of the box. Easier. Oh yeah. Force be with you, my friends. Uh, part of the missa is don't break the box. Part of the missa is dead. No, we don't do it. We don't break anything. We are we are not uh, bad guys. At some point, I have to admit I removed a uh, figure so and cardboard package is quite heavy. We'll hang nothing inside. Oh well, like I care, I don't care. Right, so uh, there are no strings attached. No strings attached, no strings attached. Oh, we have something, we have some info. Info, small info. Uh, yeah, some warning info which doesn't give us anything. Anything, anything useful but must be included because of those. Regulations require. Come on. I don't want to break anything actually. I will be as gently gentle possible. I got no strings attached. No. No. So, as I mentioned before, when you see a flame trooper or something, or flame power man, whatever it's called with different installations. Oh, okay, that backpack, backpack actually makes it difficult to remove it. You, know, you expect to see more red cars, you know, like a red warning ones, whatever it is. So, first we take a look, quick take a look at the weapon. Yes, the flamethrower. Actual flamethrower with slightly heating up. And or the tip. No hull of anything, no washing, no painting, it's just uh, plastic with a little bit of paint on the end of the tip, which mm, plenty enough. I'm actually looking for a figure itself, not for accessories, so let's take a look. So, 
as I mentioned before, you expect a little bit more red, and we have a red actually, bits of reds on the chest armor over here in the front, and uh, red warning lights on the back deck or flame travel rack. Whatever you say, uh, oh, here we have it. Now we're talking about how the flame travel is supplied, like this. Uh, but we come back to a figure itself for now. So we have a plain white, plain pale white at some point. This white a little bit has a little bit different patterns of the color on armor here and there. Of course, I don't want to break anything. I can try to ooh, bend it so stiff, bend it arm and the elbow. We do not try push or lock. Do we? The figure itself is quite expensive, about 30 pounds, yeah, without shipping, so it's quite something. It has some articulations in the crunch waist area, but very limited because of this armor and this cloak under the armor, which limits the movement, uh, movement area of the figure. Which is not very good, but since I, I'm not planning to pose anything special about it or play with it, it's fine. It's completely fine. There's chipped off paint on the helmet on the purpose, which is very nice because we all want to see a battle-worn soldier back from the front lines, not a, just released from the uh, you know fashion store or factory something like that. So basically. I'm coming back to return to myself again, um, to my bumbling about the color, lack of the colors. Uh, it's flame 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 trooper, flame trooper trooper. And let me check. I'm getting old, and memory are fuzzy. Flame trooper actually, uh, flame trooper. Uh, it's despite being a plane and one single color. It has a slight different shades of white, a little bit more milky white. Here and there, my phone do not pick up these differences, but mostly a uh, mesh type uh, clothing under the armor. Here, uh, face cloth, uh, um, pieces. I, I can't call it a cloth because it's not made of cloth of the hard plastic, which imitates clothing uh, on the arms. On the pants, on the boots, it clearly is visible. The boots is a slightly darker color shade, and all figure is painted in, and few different color types on the backpack. That's it. Plain, simply plain. But of course, you could ask a little bit more of color on this chest armor here and there. Probably, I don't know what is this. Buttons, maybe uh, those little columns on the shoulders, a little bit maybe shading, something like that. For such a price, I figure still some paint jobs quite good, not tripping off anywhere over the edges. And visor, visor is not clear, sadly, it's just plainly painted. And you're getting yourself a flame trower figure, which doesn't fit my smartphone. So I need to fix something with a uh, stand because this stand sucks. I already purchased probably five or six stands and still looking for one. Oh, okay, okay, I did a mistake. Because you must attach a flame trower into his hand, I suppose. Oh, I don't want to break any fingers. Hey, come on. Thank you, thank you, kind warrior. It's fine, it's all right. It's attached quite securely without any sacrifices made. And of course, you can, you, you can make it stand this way, but it looks quite, quite generic, quite dumb, let's say. And we're gonna make him stand as flamethrower man supposed to stand. 
Uh, hmm. Mm, strange. The hands have a disclutch. Like it's supposed to hold on something, but I don't see any handle. Well, yeah. No handles. Uh, for second arm. I mean, not for second arm, for the weapon itself, so there is no point of holding it with both arms. Probably it's supposed to have something, but. It's not closed, or oh, it's gonna shoot you, or cook you slowly, or maybe I'll fry you slowly. Yeah, I'm not treating anyone, by the way. It's fine, it's okay. I can rise like that, but it looks stupid because it's a flamethrower, it's not machine gun. So, basically, I have to figure out something how to pose this guy, because standing still with a weapon in his arm is, looks a little bit old. Here but in overall, as a unit to your collection, as a piece to your collection of the grand units from Star Wars universe, it's a great addition. It looks plain a bit, a bit plain, a bit luckless of the details, painted details here, there. There is no weathering whatsoever. Small attempts like this merging the shoulder, I don't know. Yeah, camera picks up a little bit, but I know maybe that was an accident from the paint on the helmet. Maybe not. I have no idea. It doesn't bother me really. really. Uh, cloth of the coat looks nice, but uh, as I mentioned before, a little bit more details for such a price would be a welcome. And the uh, figure, even if it stands on its own freely and stable. It doesn't have any action base or a little bit consideration to keep it. Yeah, it, it has a holes in the feet actually for the action base. I don't know you can customize and make your own action base for uh, security reasons. So it figure don't fall off from some edges of your shelf and won't damage itself, which would be a shame. Such a price. It's such a nice looking figure. So that's much about this review and thank you for watching as usual and more videos probably will coming up. I'm not sure which ones to pick up because I have a lot of stuff and I have a lot of um, a lot of time lost in transition because uh, I was just skipping on things. Let's say I was uh, wasting time on life things things related to my life and uh, problems i can't solve at the moment but that's anyhow related to this video so we will forget about it well not much about another piece i added to my collection so maybe <clears throat> maybe i'll do a quick review on all the pieces i actually currently have maybe Ooh, too bright so thank you for watching again and take care.